so does anyone else wake up in the morning stunned like you are wondering why exactly have i woken up this morning what is my purpose and life existence for today like what exactly am i supposed to do even though you have everything planned out you have classes you have work to do but you are just still stunned so whenever i wake up the first thing i need to do is write down my manifestations whatever it is that i want whatever it is that i have to pray about and anything that has to do with you know praying and manifesting whatever you want so your manifestation changes i think um once every month so this is for the month of april and i can assure you losing weight is not one of them it's not even my priority so after i write them down i read them out loud into my ears i read them like i'm memorizing for exams i say them out loud and one thing about manifestation is once you have written it down it's something you can see it is being articulated like you can hold it you begin to prepare for the things you have written down start making room for them and start making changes to accept all those things you have written down then also i will also pray to my creator and thank him for today and you know get on with my day so as a hungry girl that i am i am always hungry in the morning i'm going to make my breakfast and one thing i've been loving to eat is plantain and egg so if there is no light i usually fry the plantain i don't even bother but once there is light i grill the plantain or i boil the plantain if it is slightly um ripe but this one was extremely ripe so i couldn't boil it so i'm having my plantain with eggs and stew or sauce and you know fried plantain eggs stew that's what we're having for breakfast So because I am on a low carb diet, I'm watchful of the kind of oil I take, the kind of, um, you know, fat I take. It has to be measured. It has to be articulate or what's it called? Accurate. Sorry. So that's why I have little oil in my food. Even though I fry the plantain, you know, that one is one off. I normally always grill or boil. So make sure you you know check the oil you're having before you use it i also prepare hot water for my coffee i almost can't do it without coffee these days so i just pour in my hot water into the flask and there's already coffee in it and this is what i drink throughout the day i normally do not check my weight every day i check my weight once a week and that's just because the scale cannot be dictating what work i have put into it as you can see my weight fluctuates so it is 104.5 kg here and the next one is 103.9 so i just like to sit in the middle so i can choose 104 as my weight then i brush my teeth and get ready for my swimming lessons I'm not a person that would have ever thought I would have, you know, found interest in swimming classes, but you know, I don't know how to swim. The only way I can learn how to swim is go out there. Say hi to my camera. Hello. Are you ready to swim? Yes. Why are you wearing front to back? Your toilet is here. Mm -hmm. hmm? Your cup and which one you wear your cup? And goggles. And goggles. Before you add water, you put water on your body. Eh? Yes? You've not put soap for us. Wait, yeah, the soap is up today. Don't worry, then I'm gonna bring soap.
so as i was saying we have to go out there and learn how to swim because it's actually a life skill not just a addict addict <laughs> not just an added skill it's actually a life skill so driving swimming they are life skills so i'm going to the pool after i pick up emc and i met up with my other sister and we head over to the pool for our swimming classes we're all learning how to swim and they don't know how lucky they are to be learning at such a young age i wish it was me So my swimming pool is somewhere around my area in Suruleri and I paid to the tutor to teach us. We all paid together. We are four learning, my sister, myself and two children, that's Yemisi and Oba, who are learning how to swim and the payment is for a total of 10 classes. This is my third class and I'm still using a floater, that's the noodle floater and the one between my thighs. I just started swimming to the end, the deep end of the pool in my second class and that is progress because I never would imagine myself swimming to the deep end and even Yemisi can swim to the deep end of the pool which is 12 feet on her own as you can see with a needle floater. Oba's second class is today so she still has to use the board and the floater to swim while they do the leg flapping style. I do the stroke one. He has different techniques for teaching um, both adults and um, children he doesn't rush techniques he you know some people will be saying oh you're meant to be doing this one you're not meant to be doing that one mr Jews will tell them they haven't learned it so we go bit by bit he's he's not rushing us i mean i still have seven classes left so i have all the time to perfect my swimming i posted this on instagram people were saying oh you're just doing stroke you're not flapping your leg when it's time to start flapping my leg, I believe Mr. Jude would teach me. So next time I swam, I swam with um, just the floater between my thighs and I'm doing away with the noodle floater. So the next tour, hopefully I'm going to swim without a floater to the 12 feet end of the pool. Hopefully, I mean in my fifth or sixth class. So one thing I also like to do is just play around the pool and just, you know, try and see how I can, what's it called, push my weight against it and just, I don't even know because I learned f fat people can float better than slim people so I just like to play around with it even without the floater. So once I get back home, I take a shower and, you know, start preparing for the next part of my day. As you can see, my eyes are so red from the chlorine in the pool and they are hurting. And the funny thing is, I don't like using goggles to swim. Can you imagine? So I'm going to pack my gym wear that I'm going to wear later to the gym. I just like packing it down so that everything is sorted once it is 6 p.m., 5.36 p.m. 
I pack, pick up my bag, change. Even if I'm at home, I like to do like I'm walking, you know, outside my house. I pick up my bag, change, and head over to the gym. So I just like to pack everything down. So I'm not disoriented or disorganized when it's time to go or I don't have any excuse. Also, I'm going to start working on my laptop, check my emails, check my um, inbox for any replies I have to send and, you know, try and start editing some videos of videos for brands that are going to go up and also YouTube videos that are going to go up. So if you enjoyed this video, Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I would love to see you in the next one. Let me know your comments in the comment section down below of other videos you would like me to film. See you guys in my next one. Bye!